Hello everyone, my name is Shay. I'm the beauty assistant at the Sunday Time Style and today I'm going to be showing you how I prep my hair for wigs. So just to give you some background, I have afro hair. What we call in our afro hair community, we call it 4C. That's the type of texture, that's the type of curl that I have. It's a very, very tight curl that can be sometimes quite hard to manage. Along the years, I've had quite a complicated relationship with my hair. When I was younger, my mom and my dad would put me in braids or sometimes I would have those little Minnie Mouse ears. Looking back on it, I loved it, but there were definitely times where I just wish I woke up with straight, long, silky hair, like all the other girls in my class. However, I am so lucky because I have the best, best parents, and especially my mom. She's always been a massive champion of owning my natural beauty and being proud of being black and being proud of having afro hair I sort of just learned to a manage it and b champion it the reason that what that I wear wigs is mostly that I am a firm believer that variety is the spice of life before we get started I'm going to be answering some questions question number one do you have any hair Question number two, how often do you wash it? Ideally, I'd like to do it weekly because I like my braids to be fresh underneath. I feel like the hair grows stronger as well if it's like nice and healthy and it's getting nourished by the conditioner and the, the masks. Question number three, how often do you change it? Realistically, I try to switch up my look maybe every two months. Can you straighten it? Yes, of course you can. I don't because I want to keep as healthy as possible because I wanted to grow it to my waist. Can you dye it? Of course. Again, I haven't. The thing about afro hair is that it's quite weak because it's so drying. So if you're going to put bleaching agents, you're causing so much damage to it. How does the wig stay on your head? So there are many different types of wigs and that's a whole other video. I kind of go into it in my article. So if you want to check it out, link in the bio but yeah so the type of wigs that I use they just have little clips which you'll see later on in the video and I when I braid my hair the clips are essentially gripping it to under the braid oh that leads nicely to my next question are you afraid of it ever coming off well mine really can't because if it comes off my scalp is coming off with it so it's quite secure I'm proud to say how do you maintain it we're gonna get to it now this is my hair in its pure and natural state what i'm gonna use today is a white tooth comb a pick comb a deep conditioning mask very important a sulfate free shampoo or a cleanser some cling film a really nice moisturizing but lightweight oil a wig and today I'm also going to be conditioning my wig. I don't know if you can see, but this is a dream. Moroccan oil color depositing mask in Bordeaux. A towel. Almost forgot to mention hair grips. Let's go. Try and brush away some of the knots so I'm not suffering when I'm in water. A lot of people like to skip this step, but I prefer to brush it. Um, just to make sure that when I deep condition it, I'm not missing any spots because there's like braid knots in, embedded in the hair. Step one is done. First things first, cleanser or shampoo. Ta-da! I'm back. Hair is nice and clean. So now I'm going to move on to my deep conditioning mask. Split my hair into four parts, although if your hair is thick thick then I recommend doing it in six because you want to make sure that you really get in between everything but I think I can just about manage with this my amount of volume so now it's in half so then you're going to split it in half again cut the hair grip to keep the hair away and separated so now I am going to add the deep conditioner step three 
So be generous when you apply the mask. And also it's very important for us to remember the whole idea of deep conditioning after you've washed your hair is that you essentially want to restore like the moisture and the essential oils that your scalp naturally produces that you actually lost through that cleansing process. A quick braid to hold it all together. Same for the other side. Look at the curl restoration. The braids don't need to be perfect, they just need to be able to hold your hair together. I know, I know you've been wondering about this. So essentially, I'm going to be using cling film so that I can aid that absorption process from the conditioner. Ow! This doesn't get any easier. Tuck it all in. Hi, it's me, Mega Mind. I mean, you could always use a shower cap, but what's the fun in that? I'm gonna let this hold for 30 minutes. Do 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 do. Look at all these curls. Okay, now I have to rinse it off. Okay, so I've rinsed my hair with some hot water. Before I braid my hair, I'm going to rebrush it again just to make the whole braiding process a little bit easier okay now I'm gonna apply some bonding oil to my mostly to my ends oh my gosh that smells so good oh my days this Olaplex wood child so good okay so I'm back with my knitting needle I'm gonna do six braids I'm gonna split my hair in half first and then split it into three both ways so these braids they don't have to be perfect but they have to be flat so it don't look like you're wearing a helmet on your head. So I like to call these braids innies because regular cornrows, they'll be like outies, I guess. They'll be like thicker along here. And we are done. As you can tell, they're nothing special at all. It's now time for this beauty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this color depositing mask to the wig. It looks like a murder scene. This is a lot easier to do if you do it on your head. But I wanna let my hair dry one, and number two, I don't wanna dye my own hair. So I wanna make sure that the ends are nicely covered. I'm leaving the roots black because my real hair is black. I think it's looking good now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna clip my wig in. I can use the pick to pull some of my natural hair out. A new woman. That's enough. All right, so I've worn off and did other bits and let my wig sort of like air dry the last few bits. I sort of didn't want to um, get heat on it when it wasn't completely dry. And to do my waves, I'm going to be using Head clips and a chopstick styler also another thing about styling wigs is that I basically try and minimize the amount of product that I put on them just because especially if it's colored I don't want to wash it that often look at that color and look at that shine listen if big hair don't care was a person it'd be me I am big hair don't care and now I'm gonna go get ready to complete the look in a bit. She's back! I know the process may seem a little bit tedious at times, but honestly, I don't get to do it all that often. It's, it's actually a really great way of doing me time. Uh, my hair is such an important part of like my being, and I think it represents me so well I, f I find it that my hair is such a great way for me to express myself so i think it's worth it going through the effort of getting it perfectly the way that i want it okay so this is it this is me coming together mm -hmm.